Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited for this video. I am making fresh salsa. I have a bunch of veggies here to make it with. I took it all in my fridge, so everything is just like soaking with condensation. But what's really, really exciting is that I actually have a few things from my own garden that I'm hoping to include. So I have this cucumber. Not sure if it's going to be good. So I went to Maine and I ended up staying an extra day uh, that I wasn't planning to and just like forgot to remind people back home to water my veggies. And as you can see, the top of it's kind of skinny because it almost died, but then it kept growing. So I harvested it, I think yesterday or the day before, and we're going to cut and see if we can use this. I am putting cucumber in my salsa. I found a salsa that has fresh cucumber in it and it just... Like, not to be dramatic, but it changed my life. Uh, I also have a banana pepper. I uh, almost said cucumbered. I pickled some banana peppers, um, and they ended up turning out really, really good. This one's actually turned red at the bottom, so it should be a little bit sweeter than my last one, but I feel like once they're pickled, it doesn't really matter. Well, I guess these aren't gonna be pickled, but I have to make sure I wear gloves when I cut this because last time I didn't, and it, like, I ate M&M's after, I was talking about this in my vlog, uh, I ate M&M's after and my mouth is on fire because I never washed my hands, so I'm going to wear gloves for this. And then, <laughs> my biggest harvest, <laughs> I got one single cherry tomato. I don't even know if cherry tomatoes will be good in salsa because they're kind of sweet, but I just thought it would be fun to maybe like cut it in half and try it with you guys. I'm very excited this video is actually sponsored by Glass Long. I'm going to take a hit from this. Fun fact, the bigger version of the Mason Jar Bong is my most viewed YouTube video ever. I posted it back in like spring 2016, so over four years ago, and that's my most viewed video. So cheers if you found me from that one. So I think I'm just gonna make the salsa in this giant thing for now because I feel like I'm gonna make a lot and then I can put it into like smaller mason jars or something and then give it to some of my family members to try out. So um, I have no idea where to start. I am literally winging this. I guess we'll just see what happens. Oh my gosh, also look at the cute little giraffe bowl I have on the mason jar bong. So cool. And I obviously put ice in the, it's already because it's so hot. It's been, I want to say it's been over 90 degrees the past at least five days now, which for the Northeast, that's like a pretty big deal for us. All right, let me take one more hit. Ooh, I wonder if I can, I should try and make the thumbnail. Can I, okay. Ah, my cucumber, cucumber down. If I can like somehow get this pretty in my arms, I'm just going to leave this in. You guys are going to see me trying to make my thumbnail in this video. Oh, I just, oh, yikes. I think I'll take a hit and then maybe pick it up as I'm hitting it. Okay, <laughs> let's see how this goes. <laughs> Hopefully that works. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> trapped now. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm going to get way too high <coughs> before this video. <coughs> Stale. All right. I'm just going to get right into this. I need to, I guess I'll start with cutting the tomatoes. I grabbed a few tomatoes, but I feel like I'm going to need more. <gasps> Should I start with mine? I didn't even rinse it. Bring you guys down a notch. How about that? We'll get you down on our level. Oh yes. Oh yes. Let's cut this tomato. I think, I don't know, I might just eat this. We'll see. Looks like a tomato. All right, let's smell it. Oh my God, it's literally, <laughs> it's so little. It smells like a tomato. Let me see if Brennan wants to try a little piece. The cherry tomato was edible, so. I think I'm gonna start with just cutting tomatoes. I could probably improve my knife skills, but this is just where we're at, you know? I'm also weird with the seeds. I'm probably gonna be like picking a bunch of them out that you guys might not do, but it's fine. <laughs> Look at her leg. 
Yep, Sansa's in her bed. Are his legs just hanging off? You're a weirdo. So basically I've been chopping tomatoes for 20 minutes <laughs> and that's as far as I got. I literally turned off the, the camera because it was just, it was just that for a very long time. But that's like the base of it, I guess you could say. And now everything else should be a lot easier. Plus tomatoes. Okay. I feel like my biggest takeaway from this video is that I need sharper knives and I've known that for a while, but like I really need sharper knives because cutting tomatoes was so annoying. They're just so squishy and... It wasn't fun. I gotta repack this. Smoking on some prenup. Do I have an ashtray over here? Ooh, yes. Do I have stuff in the grinder? Oh yes I do. I keep thinking the camera's where the light is. And like I look over there for a second. Also it started raining. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. My plants are so happy. It's probably gonna be much cooler when I step outside after this. I think it was like 10 a.m. and it was 91 degrees out. And I know, compared to some places, that's nothing. But that's a lot, especially today was kind of humid since the rain was coming, so it was just gross, you know? Cheers. Ooh, the ice melted and I might have the tiniest bit too much water in there now. Moving on, I think I'm gonna do my onion next, I guess. When you thought you were filming, but you weren't. Also, these onions are fucking with my eyes right now. Oh my gosh. I might need a little break. Oh my gosh, maybe bong rips will help with the onion burning. <laughs> my eyes are still burning. All right, I feel like half an onion will probably be good. Maybe, do I even need that much? I'm just gonna use my hands, they're clean. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll do. Alrighty. Onion has been added. See, when I have my iPad, I'll be able to draw like cute little tomatoes and onions, and as I'm talking about them, I can have them like pop up on screen, and it'll be adorable. But my iPad's still not coming in for like nine days. <laughs> I think it's eight days now. Okay, I really need to like go wash my hands and wash this cutting board because my eyes are still burning. All right, next ingredient is a cucumber. I don't think I'm gonna peel it. I'm not exactly sure how I wanna do this. I almost wanna cut it into like slices, like chips, and then cut those kind of into like dicing it. That way there's still some, I don't know, oops, hello. Maybe I'll take a little bit of the skin off. Let's see. Who I love. Oh, I love cucumbers. They smell so good. I definitely, so I ran outside because I noticed one of my, there it is. I noticed one of my uh, plants had knocked over. It must have been windy when it started raining. And I got like a droplet of water on my head and I could just feel it like in my hairline and had to like rub it in almost. So normally um, I would save my veggie scraps because I'll make veggie stock out of them. So all of like the peels and the ends of cucumbers and other things, um, I freeze them. And then once I have a big enough stock, which I do right now, um, I will boil all of that in a big pot with a bunch of spices and whatnot, let it uh, boil down um, or like, oh, what's the word? I'm trying to think. Um, What's the, oh, reduce, never mind. <laughs> I was just gonna ask Brendan, but um, you reduce it a couple of times, like adding more water, reduce it down. Um, and yeah, then you can use that for like veggie broth for a soup or something like that. Or what I usually do is I'll make, oh, that's probably more than enough cucumber. I'll make uh, rice with that. It's really nice. I'm gonna save this one because it's chunky. <laughs> That's kind of cool. 
Oh my gosh, this is going to be the best part of the salsa. I'm so excited. So I started buying a salsa at, so my local grocery store is Stop and Shop, and I started buying, it's like an organic fresh salsa that they sell in the produce area, and it had, I, I like immediately could tell, I was like, oh my god, this has cucumber in it, and that just tastes absolutely delicious, so I like checked the ingredients, and of course it did, and um, I kind of got like a bunch of stuff that was in that, in terms of like the cucumbers, and I have, I might put a little bit of garlic in there, I don't know, I have fresh garlic. I'm just not sure how much to add and like how to go about doing that. I usually just have like a jar of minced garlic and that's what I use to cook because it's easiest, but I need to learn how to use real garlic. No, it's not that jarred garlic is not real, but fresh garlic. I'm honestly probably going to add a lot of cucumber because I like it so much. I forgot to cut open my cucumber. Wait. Oh my gosh. All right, I guess, well, I guess I'll save that for a second because I want, I want my cucumber to be in it. I need a fork. I also think it's time for another bong rip after I figure out this whole cucumber situation. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. Wow. All right. Yeah, I can throw that in too. Plus some of mine. <laughs> I just like whipped that in there. Smells like a cucumber. <laughs> Let's cut off this part, because this part's kind of squishy. The seeds look a little like jelly, but I feel like sometimes homemade ones are just like that. And like towards the end, they look a little less. I don't know. Let's, I kind of want to cut this one in half just so I can potentially take the seeds out. Oh yeah, there's lots of seeds. But honestly, this is what my friend's homegrown one looked like in the center too. I just personally tend to like take seeds out of things. So should I get a spoon? Let's cut a little bit of this and put it in there. And that's fine, whatever. I'll save the other part and maybe just use that with ranch dressing for a snack. Ah! Oh, <laughs> we're almost done. Definitely have a seed on the roof of my mouth. <coughs> oh, it was a piece of skin. Not my skin, it's a, a cucumber skin. I was in celery, what? Here's what the salsa is looking like so far. Very lively and colorful. I'm gonna do maybe like half of this, I guess. I'll put that in with the cucumber. Maybe not even half. Oh, the orange adds a lot here. Oh no, I think my camera's gonna die soon. I don't know if I'm able to make it through the video. All right, the time has come. I think I'm gonna do the banana pepper first. I have one glove on. Um, I'm gonna cut the whole top off because there is a little like discolored sort of thing right there. I feel like my lighting could be a little better and I might even bring this up a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get like the angle decent on here. I feel like I've been struggling a little bit with that. Oh, let me take a bong rip before I start this. Also, I need to stream in about 15 minutes, but I think we can finish this in about 15 minutes. All right, did I tell you I added garlic? I added garlic. Just gonna cut the top of this off. And then I wanna get the seeds out. All right, Um, how do I wanna do this? I don't know how much I'm gonna add. I guess I'll just cut little rings and then I'll cut the rings up. They smell pretty good. I'm only gonna add a few, I'm just, I'm nervous. They're all they're not pickled too. I've only tried my own banana peppers um pickled. <laughs> I almost want to add vinegar to this, but I feel like the lime juice is going to do what I'm like thinking I want the vinegar to do. I'm praying these peppers aren't too spicy. I 
think they'll be all right though. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm only gonna touch it with the glove hand. I'm very glad I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm really unsure of how much jalapeno to add. I feel like I should try a little bite of one, just so I know that much. Uh, it's pretty spicy. Like I can tolerate it, but yeah, we can add some of that. Cause I feel like it's pretty spicy alone, but like in here it'll be nice. Just like a few of them. Maybe I'll cut it smaller and just add a little bit. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna add. I'm a baby with it. Like maybe I'll add more later or something, but. That's all I want to do for now. All right, give it a nice little mix. Now that we've got the banana peppers in there, I do want to add a, well, let's add the lime juice first. Should I do a quarter? That was a quarter of a lime. I don't know why I'm asking you guys. You can't answer this right now. But I don't know if I should do a quarter or a half of a lime. Maybe half? Well, let me mix it and see what it smells like. All right, I'm definitely going to be a few minutes late to my stream especially if this dies on me and I have to figure that out. Yeah, I wanna add more. I'm adding the other quarter. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. All right, we're gonna add some salt. So colorful, I love it. All right, maybe some pepper too, actually. That's everything. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get some tortilla chips and see what it tastes like. Some of the red onion are still stuck together, but the more it like sits and stuff and I mix it, they'll come apart. These are the current chip in our house. We switch it up occasionally. Alright, I wanna get like piece of either banana pepper or jalapeno, but I can't really tell if I have, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty good. I honestly might even add more cucumber, make it more of like a cucumber salsa. die okay I have to finish this off on my phone because I cannot find my spare battery anywhere and I just I can't wait for the camera and battery to charge so we're just gonna take a few more bong rips Brendan tried the salsa thinks there uh, could be like a little more spice in there so we might add some more jalapenos I think that would be a good idea All right, so this is pretty much what our finished salsa is looking like. I'm gonna take one more bong rip. I think I am gonna add more jalapenos after, but I really do wanna start my stream so I can smoke at 420 on live. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any sort of suggestions for adding to salsa, just for everyone else in the chat that may experiment with this as well, or in the comments rather. Um, yeah, I definitely want to try and make this again. Like I said, I'm going to add more garlic, more jalapenos, and I don't know, maybe more banana peppers. We'll see. I'll have to like test my spice limits. And then I think I'm going to give half to my parents and they can try some. I don't know. I'm not going to eat all of that. So I got to give it out to someone. But all right, last hit on the glass lung mason jar bong and... I think my next video is gonna be another week in the life vlog. People seem, I, oh my God, whenever I record my phone, I like forget where the camera is, like which side, but um, people seem to really like the last vlog that included like my birthday and all of that. So I'm gonna to try to vlog more. So that'll be fun. All right, cheers. Oh my gosh, I look so stoned now. Um, if you are not subscribed already, please do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And hmm, if you stay until the end of the video, 
which was your favorite ingredient out of all the ones that I used? I'm trying to think of things that people will comment like something kind of varied, not like the same exact quote, you know? So also let me know if you have any suggestions for like things for people to comment at the end of the videos. I think that's a fun way to just give people an excuse to comment because sometimes I watch videos and I'm like, I want to comment, but I just don't know. I don't know what to say. I just, nice video, but I don't, you know? <laughs> so it's a nice little prompt to leave, but yeah. What was the ingredient that you liked the most in this video? Because I feel like mine's banana peppers. I love banana peppers. I'm gonna pickle more of them. But all right, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay high.